Well, let's see if triangle ABC, vertices at these coordinates in blue, is congruent to triangle DEF, whose coordinates are given in green. So this is certainly an algebra exercise, and oh boy, this can be a lot of work. So let's um, let's get right to it. Okay, I'll show you the shortcut. All right. But I'm going to show you first the old school way. Obviously, this is meant to be a distance application. But you're going to have to do the distance formula six times to compare the six different segments to demonstrate that the two triangles are congruent by side, 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 or not. Now, let me take this distance formula. I'm going to give you some other notation. Oh, this x1 and the x2s, I can't stand it. I prefer this notation, where I would say that distance, I'll replace the x2 minus x1 with the change in x. And that's, that's not triangle, but delta. Delta x squared plus delta y squared. And I'll take the square root of that. Well, let me further take this equation. And let's take it a step back. If this is true, then d squared is simply the, the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. Delta x squared plus delta y squared is the distance squared. Hang on to that thought for a little bit, and we're going to go through, show you how easy this works out. Again, if I, let's suppose I'm going with a, b, and d, e. After all, that would have to be true in order for these triangles to be congruent. So I'll do a little bit of a comparison. And I'll do the substitution. Notice I don't have to do the x. I'll just say what is the difference of the of the x's is 6 in both um, the blue and the green. The difference of the y's is also 5. I don't care if it's positive or negative. It's a difference. So I'm just going to take the absolute value. And then I could say, I could substitute. I could do the squaring and I could do all this. And then I now I could take the square root of both sides and say they're both radical 61. But you know, that's a big waste of time. Because if I got this, I know the two are already have the same measure. So why bother finding the radical? All right, let's speed it up and do the last two. I'm going to have to compare BC to EF. If you will, the second and third letter of each one. And I look at it there. The difference, I'm looking at, at the B and the C, the difference of the X's is 3, the difference of the Y's is 5. Look over here. From here to here, the difference in X's is 3, difference in Y is 5. Stop right there. Who cares what, I don't need a radical, I'm done. These two have the same measure. Now let's compare the final, and that's going to be CA to FD. If I compare CA, I can see the, the Y is constant. The X has a change of 9. So, there you go. I'm looking at D and F, and the Y is constant at negative 1, and the X, or the ordinate, is, has a change of 9. And those two expressions are the same. So there you have it. Without even calculating the lengths, all we had to do is the comparison I would say these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. And if you just want to admire your work, you could also draw the picture and graph it, and you could see that the figures are indeed congruent and they're reflections of each other. That's it. You're finished. You know you're going to get one of these on your chapter test. So get some practice in. Save some time. Well, we're going to work backwards here. We just did problem 11. Now let's go to 10. Same thing. Let's look at these two uh, triangles and see if we can figure out algebraically if they are congruent by side, side, side. And as we said before, we're going to have to compare. We'll just use our, our delta notation, change in x squared, change in y squared. Check your last problem. Now, let's just work on, again, we take AB, compare it to DE. Difference of the x is 5, difference of the x is 4. The same for the blue as it is for the green. So right there, 3 and 6, 8 and 2. It's a difference of 5 and 4 respectively. So um, 
looking at those numbers, I know that that's going to come out the same. I don't even need to solve. And let's move on to the next set. And here's where I hit the obstacle. I've got BC comparing to EF. 4 squared plus 8 squared, comparing that to 2 squared plus 9 squared. So we're, we're good enough at our math by now that we don't even need to go any further. I know that these two aren't the same. So, we're done. These two triangles are not congruent. So, if, I suppose you might want to look at it. Now let's have a look, clean this up a little bit, and let's look at the graph, and there you go. Had you plotted them, you'd see that they are uh, quite a bit different indeed. So, the two triangles are not congruent.